update what's going on guys and gals in this particular video we're going to be going over the rta the real-time analyzer on the behringer wing rack not the console i don't think it matters but i just do want to clarify that we will be using the rack okay so let's go ahead and jump down into wing edit and uh, let's have a look around now here you're going to see i'm coming in on channel one with the sure 7b I'm running this out to my stream left and right on Mixbus 1 and 2, which is feeding Camtasia, which is the software that I'm recording this video on. Now, your RTAs are up here in your equalizers. So, right here, as you can see, it says RTA in use, check the mixer settings. And it is in use. And this is exactly the same setup as the actual touchscreen on the rack, but this does not transfer over. In other words, I've done this on the wing rack faceplate on the mixer itself, but I've got that color changed to red, and here you can see it showing blue. So where do we get to this? It's right up here in this little cog right here. You've got to come into the EQ. Okay, let's just get back here to the home. Into the EQ, come up to this little cog, and it's right there. This is your low band shelving, your high band shelving, but see that RTA source? This is where you pick your pre or post fader at. This is your RTA range, 30 dBs and 60. Your RTA decay, slow, medium, or fast. Now, if you've ever used the X or M32 RTA system, you could actually set this, okay, to where you wanted it to come down uh, with uh, milliseconds. Here, it's just a slow, medium, or fast. The RTA detector, peak, RMS, or the average. I'm a RMS guy, okay? Root mean squared. Peak is why we go with a negative 10 dBs on our acoustics, because we use peak meters coming in. A lot of the higher end desks, they will have RMS meters. Those are your inputs. And then you have your average here. Guys, you're just going to have to play with them, okay? Now, the RTA auto gain. If it says auto... If you don't know what you're doing, turn it on. Once you understand this, and once you start doing this, you're going to turn it off. Because you're going to have more control over it. And that's what you want. You are the sound engineer. You are just not the person on the other side of the mixer pushing buttons. Okay? Now, I'm going to close this, and we're going to look at this window just a little bit, and then we're going to explain what these are right here. And then over here, the color the same way. Remember I told you I had it over there on red? Well, RD25, that's red. These are the intensities. AM is amber. BL is blue. So if I put this on RD75 and close it, you see, now it looks just like my mixer. You see this little window right here? That's a quarter right there is what it's showing you. If we come down here, you see where it says size? If I put it on this, watch what happens. See, now it's on the bottom. Okay, look at that setting. Look what that is. That's the OVL slash 3. And there's OVL right there, and we close it again. And now look at it coming up. This is my voice coming through this RTA right now on this SM58. I know it says Sure 7B. I was working on another project. I actually just looked over there and noticed that. Okay, so if we come back here and let's look at it one time again, here's the one half. We've got one quarter, one third, one half, and then off. If we go one half, look at it. Remember that window we were talking about? You see? Now our window is getting bigger here, and our EQ window is it's half and half now. Okay, so what does everybody do? Well, everybody, including myself, we're putting it on this OVL right here. We want it below it. That's just what we do. Again, this is totally, totally up to you on what you want to do. So to summarize, guys, what do we do? Well, we go to whatever channel we want to listen to. We're going to go to the home button. Whatever we want to do, we're going to go to that EQ. We're going to come up to the little cog up here. We're going to come down. We're going to make sure that we turn it on uh, right here. You see right here, if we turn it off, it goes away, okay? There's nothing there. So we come to the cog, we come down, 
by selecting any of these options is going to turn it on. And I'm just going to go with the OVL. And I think that's overlay. I believe that's what it is. Don't hold my feet to the fire. But that's it right there. And then you simply pick a color. And depending on where you're at, if you're outside, if you're inside, if it's daytime, nighttime, you know, what you've got your screen set to as far as the brightness, all of this will play a significant part on how it looks to you. Okay? And it's that, it's that simple. That's it. You're done. You will do this for every single thing. You see here, with your, now we're on the wing here. Go to the EQ. Right there. Go to the cog. You're right back to where you were. Okay. EQ RTA settings right up here at the top. The main one, same thing. Halfway, close, and there it is. All right. I hope this has helped. It's real easy once you understand it. It's the same process regardless of what you are doing when it comes to the EQs. We went to the channel. We went to the mains. If we come to the bus, come to this bus right here. There's the EQ. Here's our cogwheel. There's our RTA. Okay? It's always the same, guys. You learn it once, you'll know it for every single input on this board that has an EQ. Okay? Take care, God bless, and we are out of here.